Hola, hola, people. Um, it's me again, Sandra. What's going on? Why one, people? Okay, so I'm back with another one. Okay, so <laughs> today, what am I asked about? Okay, do I think that, what do I think about reality TV shows such as Love and Hip Hop, Real Housewives of Atlanta? Do I think like they're embarrassing black women or do I think, what kind of impact do I think that is having on society and how society looks at black women and the way we act and the behaviors? Honestly, I don't think like there's anything wrong with those shows. First of all, people like to put us in our place and try to box us and say that, you know, if you're black and you're a lawyer, you can have an afro. Or if you're black, you have an afro, you can't be a lawyer or like trying to marginalize us. We are creative and we have like, we're multifaceted. So I can be the same girl who can check you in the courtroom and also be the one, you know, bumping and grinding to like whatever ratchet shows. And furthermore, majority of the people who watch those shows, they're not black people. They're people looking to confirm their biases about black people. So we, if you're watching a show, let's say you're watching Love and Hip Hop, you see two girls fighting and they happen to be black and your first thought is black people is this, that thought already existed okay that has nothing to do with us and there's a lot of shows that could demonize and criminalize non-black people white people is particularly but you don't see people taking it that way because in their mind their implicit biases already tell them that white is okay it's only one white person just like when something happened when there's like a terrorist attack there's always the lone wolf when a black person does it it's always affiliated with the whole group so i don't think there's anything wrong with loving hip-hop or anything wrong with have real housewives in atlanta we can watch it whenever we want because why not i am we deal with so much crap like in our daily lives especially as black women we have to deal with crap like this people trying to put us in a box and sometimes we need to go away and we need to wind down and the way that i wind down personally as a black woman is that i will watch whatever i will listen to my ratchet music i will watch my ratchet shows that's just how i wind down because i deal with so much serious stuff in the world that i would go into a, like we would always be depressed if we didn't find ways to decompress you know what i'm saying so I don't think there's anything wrong with watching love and hip-hop i don't think they're embarrassing black women whatever notions that existed in you that's on you we don't owe you anything we don't have to apologize for who we are we don't have to apologize for the way we and then people always stay copying us that's not even there's a whole lot of shows if you watch like red housewives on new jersey people fucking flipping chairs and tables or whatever and you have people going to jail over there so why isn't there a stigma about these women but it's just us when we do something or like sheree dating somebody in jail which is a whole other story sheree baby what are you doing but anyway that is other people's lives to live and if you want to affiliate it with just black women that's on you we don't have to do anything that we don't want to the beauty about implicit bias is that it's not readily available it's not readily seen so people may use that to justify their behaviors and negative rhetoric towards other people and since it's not so unlike explicit bias or explicit racism that's the beauty of it it's that you can't readily call it out but you know that that's why people are making the decisions that they're making towards a group let's say like someone has it's crazy though because even when i wear my hair differently i notice i get treated differently at work too and it's like let's say i want to hire somebody for a job i say oh, let's go with this person instead because you know they don't have an afro or they don't have this but to you it's just like you're gonna find reasons to justify other reasons to justify why you didn't choose that person but really your implicit bias is what led you to find those negative reasons to not choose that person for the job in the first place as opposed to the person that you did choose okay? even in those love and hip-hop shows there are so many non-black people who act the fool a whole fool and nothing but the fool but there isn't a stigma being affiliated with them why isn't that like mostly like i i'm noticing and i really never used to watch those shows because it was just like it was just like 
like to me it was just stupid and all the fighting i didn't want to deal with it but it's like now the reason why i watch it is just like i have dealt with so much serious issues throughout the day that i just need the stupidest the most distracting thing that i can find to take my mind off of it so that's why i watch those shows but if you notice all these girls all these <laughs> white girls who are trying to be rappers or whatever they act the fool they throw in the waters they stay throwing waters yo i don't know what's wrong with these girls but they throw in the water they throw in the hills they throw in this but there isn't a stigma associated with them because just like there's a lot of negative shows the shows that reinforce the negative behaviors of black people there's a lot of them that reinforce the positive ones but yet we focus but yet i hate when people say that because they're synonyms but and yet but anyway we focus on the negative ones because that's what we want to confirm but we don't focus on the positive ones and it, it they kind of get dismissed if you know in that sense and all, a lot of these shows like real housewives of, of atlanta i think those shows are so psychologically abusive to these women because these women stay attacking each other and we know mental health matters it's not a myth it's a real thing when you don't have your peace of mind and you're always worrying about things that's one of the craziest things and these shows like at least like love and hip-hop they can lash out their anger real housewife housewives of atlanta is straight up emotionally abusive because you have these women attacking each other and saying things about each other yet they can lash out and let it out because or then they'll get fired you have people constantly attacking each other like that kenya i love her i first of all i'm rooting for all the girls on real house of Atlanta. I like them all for different reasons, whatever. Portia, she has her moments, Candy, whatever. I like all the girls, but if you take Kenya, she really is provoking and she is very verbally abusive and emotionally abusive. But because she doesn't lash out, it's and I think Portia attacked her. Portia literally dragged her. Portia's the bad guy. But if you have someone constantly attacking you, you're going to react. And I think this shows like they don't allow these women to do that. It's really a form of emotional and psychological abuse, in my opinion. But I don't think they're making me look bad. If you associate that show with me, I think that says more about you than the show. I'm just saying. Um, but yeah, that's my take on it. Take it or leave it. And have a wonderful Saturday. Come back here for more videos. Sandra said we're at gmail.com for your questions. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh my god. Instagram, Sandra, S A N D R A, Nico, N E I K O. Facebook, Sandra, for, sta, ra, ra. Facebook.com forward slash Sandra said what? I'm on Twitter, Sandra underscore normal, N O R M I L. Where else am I? That's all I that's That's all the places I'm at. Like, follow comment share subscribe bye guys